Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to add a feature that was in the last tutorial on 2D flocking. So far, we've created a flock of 2D particles and they flock according to this unit manager, which we can also move around and have the flock respond to its location and that unit manager is actually defined by this box here and you can see all of the particles flocking. Okay so taking that as our first basis to now add a leader in because those particles already follow the unit manager around we can simply add a leader object to the unit manager. So what I'm going to do is first of all, just bring my game view here. So we've got both of them. The blue prefab that I had in there when I had two sets of flocking particles, I'm going to use that as the leader so we can actually see the leader in action. Grab that blue prefab and put it on to the unit manager so that it's a child of the unit manager. And that means that it's going to be smack bang in the middle. So if we just find it here. Now to ensure that it is smack bang in the middle of your unit manager, you need to make sure that the blue prefabs transform is at zero, zero, zero for its position. So it is right in the middle. Now we don't want this blue prefab to behave like all of the other particles. So that means taking off this unit script that we've added to all of those other ones. So we just remove that off of this particle. Now what I'll also do is actually make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to resize it to five. Okay, now when we play it, you'll see that the other particles, the green particles, all go in and hone in on this guy here. But what happens if we watch for long enough is they're not actually honing in on this blue particle itself. They're honing in on the center of the unit manager. Now this blue particle has its own physics on it. So it will eventually, because of the force put on it by these green particles, drift off by itself. To get rid of that problem, we can simply select the blue prefab that's in the hierarchy and remove its rigid body. And that will stop it being affected by the physics. What you could also do is you could also increase its mass um, and increase its drag as well. And this would stop it from being affected as much by the smaller green particles. But I'm actually just going to remove this this time. Okay, so now when we run it, we'll find that our green particles will hone in on the blue one and they're not going to move it whatsoever. So it will stay right in the center of that unit manager. And then wherever that unit manager goes, if I select it in the hierarchy and move it here, then those particles are going to follow. So we now have a leader object for that flock. If you want to independently move this leader around, so make it controllable with the keyboard, then you can put a drive script or something on it. So the usual drive script that I use is just here. I already added it and I'll just go through it really quickly. If you've watched a lot of my tutorials and you've probably seen this before, this is my go-to drive script when I want to use the keyboard to move stuff around. Now I have slightly modified it. Usually it has a translation and a rotation, but this time I've just got a translation in the Y, which is going to move the blue prefab up and down and a translation in the X, which will move it from side to side instead of the rotation. Okay, and then those values for smoothness are multiplied by our delta time value. And then the translation Y value is added to the translate in the Y position, which makes obvious sense, doesn't it? And the X is added to the X translation. Okay, now these are actually changed from the previous drive script that I use in 3D because we usually translate around the Z axis. But in this case, in 2D, the Z axis is the one going in and out of the screen. Uh, if we quickly have a look at our blue prefab here. 
you can't even see it z-axis um, it's right there going in and out of the screen so we've got our y-axis here we've got our x-axis here so in 2d it's only ever moving in that xy plane okay so back to the drive script um, we don't want it to move in any of the other directions so they're all zero the speed I've set down to five and you can change this as you like right so we'll just save that and go back into unity and we want to add that dry script not to the blue particle okay because we want the blue particle to stay right in the center of the unit manager we want to add it to the unit manager itself so that the unit manager moves around on the screen so it's now down here right so when I run this I can use the arrow keys to move the blue particle which is actually moving that unit manager and then all of the green the flock is going to follow that particle and of course from here you can play around with the speed of all of these things to ensure that you get the kind of effect that you're after so you might want those green particles to actually react a lot faster in which case you've got to adjust their speed to the blue particles speed and the same with the force And that's pretty much it. So that's adding a leader object, which ends up being essentially the goal position that these guys are looking for to follow. Um, and in fact, if you go into your all units script on the unit manager, you actually turn off the goal seek um, and obedience, and they'll actually probably just go and do their own thing. So if we just move this leader around, you'll now see that he's got absolutely no effect whatsoever on that flock. Um, and yet we could bring them back in by changing the goal seeking functions again. And then eventually, and hopefully, here they come. So they're gonna come back in to that goal leader position. Okay, and that's it. That's very simple. Um, adding essentially just a drive script onto that unit manager and representing it with a blue particle.